Hey, it's Cool here, if you don't know, and it is time for another long run as part of the 15-year anniversary special, and this is something that uh, I don't really have to hide behind a veil or anything, because I've already said what it is. Uh, my very first Let's Play on my original channel was Tumba, and then I played Tumba 2, and then I didn't come back to Tumba 2. When I replayed Tumba for the fourth anniversary. But I figure I should probably give it a proper shot because it's been a while since I played through it. Um, and the first time that I played through it, I turned off the uh, voice acting like pretty much immediately, from what I remember. And also I turned off the uh, music um, pretty quickly, although I, I, turned off, I turned them off for different reasons. I turned off the voice acting because I thought it sounded terrible. I turned off the music because it was actually glitching in the emulator that I was using. Uh, so this time, we're going to have both of them on. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and press some buttons and get the show underway. Good start. Let's see where we go from here. Apparently nowhere? Um... Hello? There we go. That sure was a sequence. Um, so yeah, here we go. Let's take a look at our options, I guess. Uh, voices, the voices stay on this time. Can't believe Tombo was invited to Smash, right? Uh, the BGM is staying on this time, for better or worse. Also, I always found this kind of fascinating, like you can just kind of adjust the screen like that. I don't know if this, like, ever was useful for anyone. It must have been, but uh, there's a number of games that have a, a screen adjust like that. This, this music might be a mistake. Already, I don't know. Uh, vibration on. I don't know if I'll actually feel it, but I'll leave it on. I have no problem with that. Get all two configuration options. 
Uh, this one is pretty much the same as the first game, so we'll leave it at that. Let's get started. Tomba is living peacefully in the country when Zippo finds a mysterious letter addressed to Tomba. The letter says that Tomba's childhood friend Tabby has disappeared. Who the hell are you? As he read the letter, all he could think about was where she could be. Was she kidnapped? Who the hell are you? She's safe. Determined to bring her back safely. Tomba jumps into the sea. As you do. And then... Now, as long as he hasn't forgotten how to swim in the inter like in the intervening time. Get ready for this tune. Hey, you scared me. What are you doing in the water anyways? You scared the fish. Who's voicing this? Regis Philbin? No wonder they weren't fighting. Hmm. Do you smell something burning? Tomba, wait here. I'll go check it out. Get tired of this tune yet? It's gonna play a lot. The crab is in danger. I'm not sure what's happening. Tomba, look! The house is on fire! And it looks like there's something inside the house! If we don't do something, it'll burn to a crisp! So we have this system again. This is unknown territory here. Before we go, we better take this. This is an adventure journal. This is where your progress will be recorded. Press triangle to see. Hey, Dom. Let's hurry. We need to go to the house on fire. You can run faster with the animal dash using square and the left-right directional button. Let's go. Well, at least there is that. We get to start with the animal dash. And the save the save system works the same as the first game. I want to check something here. Now, see how we have 14 save slots? For anyone who's not well versed in the ways of the PlayStation, there are actually 15. Uh, save blocks on a memory card. The reason why there are only 14 listed here is because this memory card image also contains the save file from the Tomba run that I finished on Sunday. That Tomba run has about 2.1 million AP, that will be important eventually, and 127 events which is the most that you can have before your last opportunity to save. The last three events happen in sequence and uh, then you just immediately get shunted to the end. So 127 events is effectively a perfect save. Now why is that important? You'll see eventually. <laughs> gonna take a minute. Oh. The Adventure Journal automatically records your adventures. Things you've picked up are under items. Events that have happened are under events. Your status is under status. And system information is under hell. And your village is under siege. The journal records it all. 
You can look at it by pressing triangle. Within an area, there are places where you can move forward and backwards. In places where there's an arrow over your head, move by pressing up and down. Also, when talking to people, use up, down, and circle. Here's a little extra tip. To run fast, the animal dash is square plus left and right. Don't forget! You're here forever. I mean, that's fine. You heard my comment about Regis Philbin, right? That was actually a bit of a callback to my first playthrough of this game. Or that is exactly what I said. Chick from an egg. As a note, I will be, um, I will be making an effort to try to get a hundred percent, but I'm not as, as much, I'm not as hard pressed to do it in this game as I was in the first game. That gem. Oh, there we go. Where's the bird's nest? Oh, I saw a nest over here. Can I get? Oh, I saw a gem over there. Okay. I don't know why that music had to play for that little uh, aside, but uh, there you go. Okay, so does this need to be like... On the floor. Ah. Ah. Oh. Wow, okay. That was a jump. By the way, I don't know if it's obvious, but oh man, these controls are really floaty. I was wondering if there was like a pig somewhere that I can throw at the thing. Unless, do I need to, can I just use the blackjack? I can just use the blackjack. Well, that's our first event clear. I believe this game uses uh, Redbook CD Audio. Because um, the actual image for this game has two tracks. So it has a data track and an audio track. Which might be why it was glitching up uh, in the old emulator that I was using.
I wonder if I came out of the faucet again. What is your deal? Hmm. Oh, anyway. Raising it, just turn the crank. About to be a deceased crab. Right, we can get water from the pump spigot, but how do we get it over here? You don't smash the sign, it tells how to get the water out and other important stuff. Apparently, this is just information that is lost to the ages because these people can't read. But Tomba can. Bucket. Yo, bucket. This will work for carrying the water. If we don't hurry, we're gonna get dinner. Say so. This one should still have some water though. Throw the water in. Bucket change to water bucket. Save the crab. We have water now. I see. You have a bucket. Come on, hurry with the water bucket. View blue items like the water bucket. Select use from the items menu of the adventure journal. You can use it or give it to someone. Okay. Whoa, slow down there. Are you trying to put the fire out? Leave that to an adult. Uh, you're panicking, sir. Maybe you should leave it to the clear-headed kid who has just been on an adventure. All right. Take that. That didn't seem to help. Oh, this isn't enough. Usually it takes more than one bucket of water, yeah. We need one more bucket of water. Good, I'm glad we had that entire sequence. I am legitimately glad that we only need uh, one drop to fill the bucket and not like three. That's a very good question, Tyrion. I'm afraid I don't have an answer. Ouch! Hot! 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 Oh great, now the old man is on fire. You need some cooling off. My name is Zippo. This is my friend, Tomba. 
Yeah, th this is Zippo, who's here for the sole purpose of, like, there's voice acting in this game now, but Toomba canonically cannot talk. We stumbled on this place when we were looking for the coal mining town. Hmm, the coal mining town. You should be able to get there from the windmill shed. Just cross the net bridge over the valley ahead. You'll see a place called the Great Waterfall of the Heavens. Wind's windmill shed is past that. When? He's the boat builder of this town. He's also the caretaker for the windmill shed. Ah, so it's the windmill shed. Oh, by the way, if you're going to Wind's windmill shed, can you give him the crab we rescued? This is a golden crab. Wynn wants to use it for something. Dinner. If you bring it to him, Wynn should be willing to help you. Okay, thanks, old man. <laughs> I am called Kaiden. Actually, I was just on a trip, too. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. Hmm. Oh, yeah, here's your bucket back. It's probably useful for more than just water. The old bucket. <laughs> hey, Tomba, if you want to use the bucket, select Use from the Items menu. Do the same thing if you want to put it away. I like how he specifically says, like, this bucket's probably useful for more than just water, whereas in the first game, the bucket was used literally for just water. things say like if you are the seesaw water from up uh, the faucet fill up container and use the water okay feel free to use the bucket good because I've already used the bucket I do seem to recall there's like a retro achievement for like getting all of the gems. This is the tiny mouse's house. We're way too big to crawl inside. The tiny mice are cute little things that live all over this continent. They're far smaller than me. Okay. Uh, Star-shaped cog. That looks like something that could fit in this hole, right? So it's not letting me use it. Hello? What's up? Oh, I didn't to like... How do I interact with anything? Maybe it's just not something that I interact with just yet. House on the point. Please don't talk to me right now. I'm trying to find that star-shaped cog that goes to the bridge. I see. Let's see. I had it when I went to the drawing net. That was the last time I saw it. Here you go, Bobcat Goldthwait. Too close, they'll bite you unless you have a crab basket. 
Now you're adding more mechanics to these golden crabs. They're pretty nasty critters. Can you provide me with a crab basket? And remember, buckets are for water, baskets are for crabs. Don't get confused. Oh, that's how it works. Okay. The crab basket. That's right, a crab basket. I believe I saw a winged pig with one not too long ago. Okay then. First, let's go get that crab basket. Crab basket, where's my knife? That didn't take us long to get the boomerang. I'm guessing that was the crab basket. What's over here? Looks like we got AP boxes again. 30,000 AP. Understood. Lock from the other side. Understood. Hmm. Golden crab warning you need a basket to catch him. Like the basket's up there and like these buckets, I don't know how they're supposed to like I'm supposed to bring them back up. Oh geez. Okay, so that didn't go so well, but on the plus side, it doesn't look like this game has a live system. Honestly, that was... There's a key there. I don't think I can get it currently. But yeah, like, that was kind of the worst thing about the original game, was the life system. Although, it was kind of interesting that, uh... I not get to that? Let's see what happens if I die. Yep. Game over. Sure. Where does that put me? Okay. So it puts me back at the last save point, but it puts me back here with um, all of the stuff that I had. So like, I didn't lose any progress, I just lost my position. That's fine. It's annoying, but it's fine. Could be far worse. But yeah, um, when I finished the game on Sunday, I had like 30 lives. So like once you once you understand how to play Tomba, it's actually not so bad. Oh, there's that golden crab. Let's see what's up here. Oh, 
Okay, that wasn't entirely fair. Alright, so up to two. Can I interact with you, sir? Supposed to say I don't usually see people. I'm having some problems because my fishing line got stuck over there. How? It seems like the float probably got stuck on something. Could you go release it? I'll give you a reward. Sure, why not? Oh no, you caught a tumba. It's already a second time in this game. Is this this game's funky parasol? Hey, the fish hook's gone. It must have blown up when the fishing line got stuck. I can't believe it. It was a gift. Oh, my gold fish hook. I can't believe it. And that felt like it was uh, leading into another event, but it uh, doesn't look like it. Now, I didn't want to go into the shed yet. Give me a second. And put this game needed being more floaty. Also, it's nice that I can actually equip things without it exiting the menu. Get off of that. Dang. On the plus side, now that I have the floaty flappy bird thing, I can die in a slightly different way. Isn't that great? So there isn't a live system, but we gotta see this game over a screen every time. We did make some progress, I'll say. Okay, this is not quite like the, um...
like the funky parasol. I feel like the funky parasol was a lot better, actually. Another actual improvement with this game is um, it does seem like the fruits come back. Because that was definitely a problem with the first game where like you eat a fruit and it's just gone forever. So trying to restore health in that game was just kind of a massive pain in the face. It shouldn't be as bad in this game. Just now we're dealing with floaty controls and an even floatier floaty McFloat face. Anyway, let's go into the windmill. Windmill shed. Hello, sir. Are you Win? Excuse me. Are you Win? We heard that you collected golden crabs, and we have some for you. You got it? Thank you so much! Hurry, put it in the water. Here we go. This isn't enough! Ah! How can this work without all of them? I... don't know? I don't know what we're trying to accomplish? Anyway, apparently we need more. I was trying to get that gem. Oh, there's another one. Okay, so apparently there are only three. That's good. Also, I saw a gem up there. Whee! What is this? There's a hole in the bottom of the sea. Or at least in the side of that mountain. And apparently, we're just kind of exchange meaningful glances about it. Why did this turn into, like, the problem music? What is going on? It wasn't supposed to do any of those things. Oh good, it's been turned into a blender. And that's how Tomba died. The end. It works! It works! We finally have a shortcut 
to the next town. Say what? I don't quite get it, but that was a pretty cool trick. Was it? Cool? It was fantastic! The propeller actually carved steps out of stone. I must say, Wynn, you are truly a genius. Oh, sorry. Uh, so where are you headed? We're going to the coal mining town. The coal mining town? In that case, take this stairway. It's a shortcut. How convenient. Aren't you glad you met a man of such intelligence? No. Be careful when you go there, though. There's an evil pig spell in that area. I recall talking to some miners about something called cappers. Well, I'm off to brag to Ark about my latest invention. Wait, did you say cappers or kappas? <laughs> Wait a minute, that voice! Hey there, hundred year old well, man. it looks like I was just in time. I was looking all over for you so I could thank you for putting out that fire. This red key should help you on your adventures. Thanks, hundred year old man. It can open up all the red chests scattered throughout the land. Treasure chests? But the red key only opens up red chests. I mean, that stands to reason. You need to find a key with the same color as the chests to open them up. I only have the red one, so good luck finding the rest of them. Thank you very much. Anytime. See you soon. <laughs> So that was a sequence of events that happened. Let's see what's in this box. The Fast Pants. Uh, let's go ahead and... Oh, those are all really quick. I'm going to unequip the bird clothes at least, at least for now. I don't know if it came across, but they really don't control very well. This is the loading screen, by the way. Maybe I don't want to touch that, actually. Hype area. I think in the original playthrough, this is where I realized, oh, this this music is not working correctly. What am I going to do? I can't get back to town now. The town? Are you referring to the coal mining town? Yes, I am. How do you know of it? But. I have a question. Why should it be such a mystery that there is a coal mining town? Like, is this some? Is this supposed to be like some sort of secret organization or something? How did I hear of it? It's a town that exists. A friend of ours lives there. Is that so? Well, in order to get there, the cappers need to be taken care of first. The cappers. Wynn told us about it. What exactly are they? They're these dangerous blobs of fire that are clogging up all of the pipes. And since they're blocking up the pipes, the machines in the town have stopped running. Well, we came all the way out here. We certainly won't let these cappers stop us. We don't have anything to get rid of them. Oh, where's an ice boomerang when you really need it? An ice boomerang? That's right. Ice boomerangs are the only things that can cool them down. I mean, I could just get a bucket of water from the last area, you know. You know where we can find one? I seem to recall the evil pigs throwing it to the lava below. We couldn't get to it, though. Well, we need to get it. We must get into the town. Well, if you know of a way to get it, be my guest. But be careful. You don't want to get yourself killed. I mean, that would be very inconvenient. Use the chains to get to places you can't reach. Well, good luck. 
You'll need it. Well, there, there's a red chest, by the way. It is slightly on fire, so I don't think we're going to be able to, to open it anytime soon. to get you a bucket of water? Oh dear. Get out of here. That went a longer distance than I thought it would. Can I, like, grab onto this chain? No, I sure can't, because that's going in a different direction. Cool. Can I... Can I do anything from here? It won't take it. Yeah, I don't think this place is constantly on fire. This is the doing of the evil pigs again. Lowering the chain makes the other chain rise. Lower it all the way and lift it up to bring, clumps, bring up clumps of mud. And then I stay in this cutscene for so long that I just end up diving directly into the lava. Oh, we found the ice boomerang. Now how do we get to it? Yeah. That. Ah, uh, nope. Let's see if there's anything up here. There is not. That seems unnecessarily long. Alright, so we have uh, we have a way of dealing with the cappers now. Except not this one because it's too low to the ground. I'm down here. Okay, fine. Okay, so the ice boomerang also deals with any uh, any fire issues where entire chains are on fire. Got it. Oh. Okay, so that just broke. Hopefully that doesn't, you know, cause any major problems. Eh, I want to deal with you. I have this need. I don't think I'm gonna get to it. Okay, now it's just... Wait a minute. 
What's that in the bottom right? Bitcha anything, that is our um, vitality max. Oh good, we have laughing and crying doors again. Trolley entrance. Well, let's go into the trolley stop, I guess. Hello, sir. I'm repairing this trolley. The wheels fell off earlier today. If you want to use it, you'll need a trolley ticket. But you have to wait until it's fixed. This has to be the best hammer in coal mining town. Okay, I'll come back with the with the ticket later, Ryan Seacrest. This is the trolley stop, all right. But without a trolley license, I can't let you ride. Oh, so I wait. So I, do I need a ticket or a license, or do I need both? That miner with the license is injured. He's resting in the town tool shed. Boy, I remember the trolley. That's not that's not usually a good thing when I remember something from a video game. Alright, so that broke that. Trying to see if I could get to that apple there, but uh, not from here. Yeah, how do I? It's right there. I want it. How do I get it? Like I could probably grab it with my boomerang. Yep. Chick food. Oh boy, we get to feed some chicks. Goodness knows, Tumba knows, Tumba knows how to pick how to pick up chicks. I mean, that's how he started the first game by picking up all of them. And storing them in his stomach <laughs> to give to the hundred year old man. I want that gem, dang it. I want that gem. Ooh, there we go. Oh boy, we get some more bananas in this game. Oh, banana. doesn't make me nervous at all. What are you talking about? Oh, is that those clumps of mud that you're talking about? Mud ball surprise. What's inside the mud? Stay tuned to find out. Well, we opened this bridge. Where of the hot water, hit the switch with the hammer to turn on the hot water. Hmm. Alright, so I guess we need a hammer. Magic Flyer wants moisture. Probably from this water? Well, that would be hot water, though. I don't know if, uh... I don't know how good that would be for a flower. 
Well, it depends on what kind of climate that it's supposed to live in when, uh, when this area is not an inferno. Sir. Well, thanks to you, we can go home now. Thank you. We don't have much to offer, but please feel free to stay as long as you wish. Hi, Gran. Long time no see. You know this guy? Why, hello there, Zippo. How are you? I'm doing fine. I see. But the town's machines still aren't running. We need to get rid of the cappers. Drat! Can we still get to Tabby's house? Let's go to Tabby's house. I do appreciate at least when, like, they make an effort to, um, to make the loading screens look like something. Anyway, this is a free roaming area. The camera kind of sucks, and I don't really have any real sort of, sort of control over it. The door to the house won't open unless the town's machines are working. Duly noted. Because of the evil pigs, we can't get under the pipes. I hope nothing's happened there. Okay, so if we can dispel the evil pig's curse, we should be able to get the stuff that's under the pipes. That's my understanding from that. Okay, and sure enough, these doors are not opening. The seagulls down in the town of Fisherman get their colors when they are cheeks. Okay. Not sure what's up with the accent, but you know, that's fine. I look like a door. I actually cannot jump in this area. That is fascinating, but it's also actively preventing me from going up here. So that was probably a decision on purpose. Okay, so there's a wheelbarrow. Bury it in the sand. Bury what? I don't know. Oh boy. I'm sorry if you have motion sickness, by the way. The guy on the other end of the belt conveyor is supposed to deliver fuel to the machine. But if the machines aren't working, then he won't work either. And that sounds like an excuse. And if the machines aren't working, then you work double time. That's how it works, right? Treasure chests come in many colors, and each one needs a different key. This town has a treasure chest too, but we can't open it because we have no key. Then why do you have the treasure chest? Who put it there? Who put all of these treasure chests in their locations? Oh, looks like it's being repaired. The rails are still missing. 
I'm sure we can fix it. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, right? Well, here's Tabby's house, but we can't get into any houses right now because we gotta go kill all the cats. I guess. These two pigs are different. Now the game has uh, has laid out for us that we're going to get a hammer eventually, so. I'm going to assume that maybe that they are hammer pegs. Much like in uh, Link to the Past. Also, I'm surprised I didn't land on that capper. Are they still cappers if they're not actually capping something, actually? Presumably there will be a cutscene once we've got more to lie them. That dang it. There we go. Actually, we can probably take care of this fire now. And a pair of magic wings. You're the last one, buddy. So now, theoretically, the coal mining town should be functioning again. Have you used the animal dash? It's yes, yes. You also, you can use a weapon to extend distance and power. I've seen it work against enemies. And they, they were really struggling for, uh... Figuring out some accents, aren't they? Also, I see that AP box over there. I'm not really sure how to get to it. And I do at least appreciate the map. Although it's a little... It's a little distracting when the camera just keeps rotating all over the place. Uh, I was hoping for some hilarious animation when Tumba got hit with sand. Get the thing. Oh my goodness. Come up, please. Well, we got sand. I don't know where this goes, but we got it. Can I bring this down the stairs? I cannot. Okay, so that limits our options. Oh, I see. Why do we need to do this multiple times? Like, we get the point. Exciting cart action. <sighs> really? Also, like, if the controls are bad, just running freestyle in the town normally. They're even more awkward with the wheelbarrow.
There we go. Let's get this thing out of the way. And see what lies down here. Probably death. The machine room, pride of coal mining town. Okay. The three machines are, from right, for washing, burning, and combining. Do you understand? Absolutely not. No, I don't really know what's going on. This here kill. Just feed it enough fuel and it can put out incredible power. It was so hot that I used to use it to smelt and process various metals with the evil pig and test a spell. I burned the power coal along with the rest and it's now pretty nearly gone. Maybe I've still got some somewhere. There isn't enough heat to cook a steak. The fuel that burns a while. Excellent. If I smelt the metal to boost impurity, the compound should make a light and sturdy alloy. In the old days, those alloys made the work so enjoyable. If only I had some good fuel, Guys who deliver fuel up above probably stoke up the heat. Okay. The evil pig spell keep the floor hot. Be careful or you'll get burned. Very noted. Hmm. Washing machine. And you know. Maybe we can use this mud ball surprise on the washing machine. I don't know how it is still mud, because it was literally in the lava. You shouldn't be able to just wash that. But we got some low purity lightamite, whatever that is. Oh, okay, so this is part of making an alloy, I guess. Burning machine. Combining machine. Seems like about all that we can do for now. Alright, let's see if we can figure out where Tidy's house is. There we go. Let's go to Tabby's house. We've made it. Wash the strange lump. I'll carry it for you, Tomba. I don't want you to hurt yourself. Let me know when you're ready. Make it quick, though. I want to see what this is, too. I mean, it's probably alive, and let's be real, it's likely to be tapped. I wonder what's under all that gunk. Let's go to the underground machine room and find out. First, let's find out what's in here. Lunchbox. He is returned from the first game for a portable healing action. Go that way for the machine room. You'll find a ladder there. You can pass only if the hole's filled. Why is that hole there? Like, is it some sort of security measure? Whoa! Who would have thought that something like this would be underground? Go figure! 
Zippo, we've already been here. You know that, right? Pretty cool, huh? Well, let's find out what this thing is. Oh, it's Charles. Charles? You know him? It's a small world. Oh, I forgot something important. I'll have to hurry up and go fix it. Excuse me. I just remembered I have something to do. Thanks for all your help, Grand. Not a problem, Zippo. This machine can wash and clean mud off things. Use it whenever you wish. Yeah, we already did. You never know what treasures are in store. All right, you. Spill the beans. What you got? What were you doing? Zippo? Tomba? What are you guys doing? That is not the voice I had envisioned for you. That is definitely not the voice I gave you in the first game. We should be asking you. All I know is we found you bundled up in a lump of dirt. Dirt? Oh yeah! I fell into some mud, so I was looking for somewhere to get it off. But by the time I got here, the mud dried and I got stuck. How much mud are we talking about here? And that's how you became that lump? Alrighty then. I don't think that was mud, that was probably clay. But cry it out loud, I can't find that thing anywhere. What seems to be the problem? I can't find my hammer. A what? You don't know what a hammer is? You know. A hammer! Have you checked the toolbox? Oh, a hammer! When was the last time you saw it? Oh, a hammer! Oh, okay, so we just needed to establish that a hammer means a hammer. If I remembered, don't you think I would have it now? Someone, please help me find it! If Brand finds out I lost my hammer again, he'll fire me! I feel sorry for him. Tomba, let's help him find it. Okay, don't you worry. I'll find it no matter what the cost. Are you certain you know what a hammer is? Charles! Charles! Sorry, sir. He sure is. Try to remember. When was the last time you saw it? Well, let's see. I had it when I was working on the trolley. That's the last time I remember having it. Look for the hammer. In the old days of oh yeah, still talking about your alloy. Your alloy was your ally. And sure enough. Can't cross that. Fortunately, we can't seem to take damage while in town, so that's not so much of a problem. Anyway, we uh, should be able to open any door in town at this point. Let's take a look around here. The cafeteria. The cafetorium! Cooking with Tomba. Oh boy. Steak sandwich to cure oily smear. Cook a big piece of meat in the burning machine to make a steak. You're invisible. Try this. Make a dried fish sandwich and... What? If you're... Hang on, hang on, hang on. If you're invisible? Okay. What kind of fish are we talking about? If you're laughing or crying, try boiling potatoes to make a hashed potato sandwich. I'd really rather just use the ordinary mushroom. I mean, that worked in the first game. 
just grab these? We sure can. Hello, sir. I'm taking your meat. What are you doing here? This isn't a playground, you know. Good day, Mr. Chef. I come back. Is that you, Zippo? If you're hungry, why don't you have some health dishes prepared from my secret recipe? I wish I could make it for you. Unfortunately, the stove is on the fritz and it won't light. So, okay, let, let me make you this meal. Unfortunately, I can't make you this meal because I don't have a stove. Things. If you bring me the ingredients, maybe I can fix something. That conversation went in like three different directions. Alright, and that still, that is still a blue treasure chest that we cannot open. Figured I'd make sure, I guess. And I think we've talked to just about everyone here. Let's uh, see if we can get into some houses. Cause some problems. You don't look like you're doing so great. Oh, oh, how annoying. I hurt myself in the coal mine and now I can't even move. My son heard of something that can heal wounds fast. He went to look for it and hasn't returned. Oh, that's a problem. I know. If you meet my son somewhere, will you tell him to come on home? Sure thing. I automatically know who your son is just from talking to you. I'm worried about him. Good talk. Let's check out the tool shed. Featuring tools for fools. Oh. I wouldn't. I actively would not. You can figure it out if you show this to the guy at the stop. Well, we have a trolley ticket, I guess. Along the tracks are the blessed free seeds of strength. See if you can grab some. I couldn't do it myself. This is a very awkward laid out place. Did you know? We have these bombs that can blow anything up. Sure. They're so dangerous, we locked them up in the storage area by the pipes. I mean, considering that everything is on fire right now, that's probably a good idea. You can't even open the door without a hammer. Bombs? Do you want any? They're yours, my friend, as long as you have a hammer. I just can't understand the creative urge. Ah, oh, I guess I can't do it without that clay spatula. What? Where did I put it? Hmm, the last pot I worked on, I gave to that miner in the house across the street. Okay. Is there anything else in this place? I don't think so. Okay, which house across the street are you talking about? This one? Do you have a clay spatula, sir? What do you think? Is this a great pot or what? Smoke him if you got him. Master Potter here in town made it for me a long time ago. Ooh, look at that gloss and that form. 
It's wonderful. He's about to drop it, isn't he? What? He is dropping it. I've got to get to work. Don't touch that. Or maybe he's not dropping it. Maybe I'm dropping it. Sure am. I don't like this, Tomba. Hi. Can't imagine. What's that sound? Oh! Listen, you left the feral child in this house with pottery. What do you think is going to happen? Oh no! My precious pot! And I like it so much! Ah! Purpose. Oh no, I absolutely did. It's, it's alright. Things, things always break eventually. You seem rather distressed about this, sir. Do you have a clay okay. spatula? It's not asking too much. Could you help pick up the pieces? I can't stand to look. It might be better to leave it alone. Okay, well, we found the clay spatula. And he never got high again. Anyway, we have a spatula. Here you go. What? I bet, uh, I remember it was in that pot. For some reason. Fantastic! Now I can make you another pot. Just don't leave the spatula inside of it. Oh, I forgot something important. Of course. Actually, I don't have any of the precious clay. Oh, my mistake. I sometimes got clay from washing clumps of mud in the machine room's washing machine. Hey, what? Ha Hang on, how does that work? Why am I questioning this? Okay, I think we've been in every house now. Maybe. Actually, am I? I don't think we've been here, but we don't have a green key for that. Okay, so that's not a ramp to get up. It's a ramp to uh, throw the ore down into the eternal flames of hell. What's in here? No, oh, I didn't want to get out. It, the, no. Hang on. There's a red chest here. I want that gem. Didn't. Yay! Riding around in my riding thing. Probably going to my eventual death in fires below. Drop onto this end. No. Okay. In fact, this underground machinery works because I wanted a way to transport fuel. Okay. I mean, that seems reasonable. You can ride the steam from the pipes up pretty high. It's always a good idea to look out for billboards. Those are two completely different thoughts, sir. But I feel like there's going to be something here, but like we probably need the hammer and then we smash these. I 
Anyway, with that, I'm pretty sure that is actually everything that we can do here at the moment. Yeah, we're already up to 19 of 30, like 19 and 38. We're, uh, we're getting some progress done on these events. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it, but this game has 133 events, or is that 137? Hmm. Well, you have plenty of time to figure that out. Uh, so that's, uh, this drawbridge has been raised again. Do more tomb buying. This is certainly a tomba game. Of all the games that exist in the series, this is the last one. <laughs> I think I've been in here. Oh no, you were looking for water, right? Well, that was incorrect. Okay, where is the other end of this? Not that way. Game over. Oh, that's okay, Jula. You, you made it here. And I appreciate that. Especially if things are stressful, it's it's nice of you to uh, to make time for this silly stream, and it's multiple games over. I I did see a chest at the end of that chain, and that's what I'm trying to get to right now. Oh, power coal. That sounds important. You chill time with Kitty. Oh, not sure how much chill I'm going to be able to provide, but uh, I'll do my best. Can you please get up so that I can hit you with this? Why do I need to hit you with that? Uh, I think there was one of the events that was asking for coal, wasn't it? Fuck, it's made from mud. Well, that's annoying. I can't, like, select this uh, this event to get like a description of it. What platform was that? You mean uh, Tomba 2? Tomba 2 is a PlayStation game, just like its predecessor. Which is actually going to be important at one point. Not for a while, but uh, eventually you, you will see why it is important. Let's 
see a chest in the background too. That's going back into the coal mining town that I didn't need to go into, so loading screens, ahoy! And it's, it's... it's not bad, but also, like... I will tell you this right now, the physics in this game are really flowy. Like, I started getting used to the, uh, to the physics in the first Tumba game. Like, so much so that, uh, in my replay that I did end up getting 100% in, um, I think I had, like, 30 lives left at the end of it. Now... That looked like a bomb. Either a bomb or one of those play things. Yeah, mud ball surprise, alright. Now that is a lava. Wasn't there like a flower seed stuff? Yeah, I I figured out how to get the flower seeds. Um, there, I think it was one of the evil pigs that I had to defeat, which like opened things up in a way that allowed me to get the flower seeds. Like the, the real trick is you got to get the flower seeds as soon as they come up and until you've gotten them and delivered them to the dwarf child. Um, like until you've delivered them, you don't want to release the hundred flower forest or else the gold flower is unobtainable. Also, we found the hammer. Hey, Charles. There you are. Where did the two of you run off to? What are you talking about? You're the one who went running off. What's the matter anyways? The foreman is looking for you. You mean Grant? Right. He said he saw Tabby. Tomba, hurry. Let's get this hammer back to Mole so we can find Grant. Help! Help! Oh, this guy again. Speaking now we use the hammer on Mole. Whack-a-mole. Get it? What's the matter, Mole? Gran is trapped in the pipe area. Oh dear. Trapped? Trapped by a huge boulder. And that place is unstable. If it collapses, you'll fall in a pool of hot water. Why can't we just use the hammer to break? No, it's too big. We need something stronger. Gran mentioned something about getting the bombs. Don't worry, we'll find some. Thank you. Please hurry. To activate the bombs, you'll need this. I'll see you guys later. I need to let the others know. Later, nerd. Remember, use the hammer to activate the bombs. Wait, what? Sorry, back that up for a second. Use the hammer to activate the bombs? That seems like an awful idea. And yes, this game has voice acting, for better or worse. Trolley stop. Trolley has been repaired. Looking for a fast driver. 
This is the trolley stop, all right. But without a trolley license, I can't let you ride. That miner with the license is injured. He's resting in the town tool shed. What? And that's not a license, this is a ticket. I see. He's okay. I get it. Wait, just one moment. Oh, this fucking thing. Alright, so you're gonna hoist the cement. It hardens really fast, so you'll have to hurry. Shout when you're ready to start. Oh, it totally will be a minecart minigame. And this one is probably worse than the one in the first game. Um, I mean, honestly, that's probably a good idea, Jewel, because this is going to be a pain in the face. Um, oh yeah. Oh, you have no idea, Tyrion. Anyway, y'all can take a moment. Hmm, as I... Sorry. Uh, yes, uh, get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. And in about 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, see you after the break. <laughs>